Hey everybody, it was requested that I put a video together with pictures from my wedding day, so I thought it would be just be easiest if I narrate along with it. Um, to start out, I did my own makeup just because I know my, my face best and I know what I like best on me. Uh, I also did my mom's makeup, so I love that picture there. I thought that was a really special time with us. That is Ryan, my husband. He was getting ready downstairs. The guys took a couple pictures in my dad's shop right there. Um, my dress is a Midgley and Sotero gown, so I really absolutely loved it. Um, couldn't have picked a more perfect dress for my wedding day. The jewelry, all the jewelry that I'm wearing except for my engagement ring is actually borrowed from a local jewelry store and was about $25,000 worth of jewelry, so I was very thankful to have that. It was absolutely gorgeous and I hated to give it back. Ryan and I actually decided to see each other before the wedding, which I was really happy that we made that decision because it just gave us some time to have alone and to spend with each other. Because uh, the wedding day is crazy and you're pulled in a million directions, so to have those moments together with just the two of us was really special. Uh, here is our bridal party. We had five bridesmaids, five groomsmen. The bridesmaids wore dresses from Alfred Angelo in the color coral. And to set the two maids of honor apart, I had two, uh, we gave them like rhinestone belts to put on their dresses so you can see them there. I love the way it turned out. The Where these pictures are being taken is where the reception was located, and that's actually my parents' home. Uh, this is in front of a little barn they have. This is a sign I put together on Ryan and I's tandem bicycle. We like to ride that around, so I thought that would just be a really neat touch to add to the wedding. These are my parents. And this is my mom, obviously. Um, and these are Ryan's parents on our front porch. I loved, loved, loved my flowers. As you can see, they're the ostrich feathers. I had uh, rhinestones on around the stems, um, diamonds in the flower heads. It was just exactly the way I wanted. We put, I made labels with our names on the water bottles. We had flip flops for people to wear because it was outside. And these are pictures of, you know, both sets of parents and grandparents um, because that's what really got us to this point. You know, everybody has stayed married and showed us what marriage means, and so I thought that was a special touch. This is the front of the church. Uh, we had a, a trio play with a cello, oboe, and flute. Here are my two junior bridesmaids, Alexis and Lindsay. Uh, that's Tanya. She was my college roommate. This is Paige. We have gone back since, you know, way early childhood. This is my sister-in-law, Jill, Ryan's sister. One of my maids of honor, Rachel. And that is my other maid of honor, Hillary. And that is the flower girl, Cassidy. The junior bridesmaids and the flower girl are all sisters, and I babysat them for years and years. So, obviously, this is just me walking down the aisle. Uh, the wedding was fairly large. We invited 300, about 225 ended up coming. Um, you know, a bunch of people always can't come. I love this shot with the ceiling of the church there. Um, we both have large families that live locally, so that's why it ended up being so large. Here is the end of the ceremony, and I really was able to keep myself together throughout the ceremony. I'm not a very emotional person, but man, when I walked out of that church, I just lost it. It was just a lot of pent-up emotion and everything that went into that day, and just releasing it. And those are my lovely girls. Uh, this was our Unity candle. I got that stand from Home Goods. It was just a crystally glass stand. Um, diamonds were kind of the theme of the wedding, like not the theme, but I just really wanted crystals everywhere and to be really elegant. Uh, this is us leaving the church, and then we got into the limo. And then we went to take pictures at an abandoned factory nearby, which I love the way these pictures turned out. I just think they're really edgy, really artistic, and I just think they're, they're really neat. There's Ryan and the girls, and you can really see the belts there, the way they turned out. And there's me and the guys. And, of course, you have to have a shoe shot. Those shoes that I'm wearing are actually the shoes that I showed in one of my hauls. They're from New York and Company. They're just flats, and they were easy to dance in and comfortable to walk around with. So I loved wearing those. And the girls' shoes are actually from Target. They're just nude pumps. So here are just some more pictures of us at the factory. These were diamond stickers that Mom got for the bottom of my shoes. They say, I do. And that was my something blue that I had. 
I'm not sure where she picked those up at. Okay, so these are just some neat pictures between the two of us. Um, I will have a video up of the makeup, my makeup from that day. I wrote everything down that I used. Um, I just have to get my makeup room set up so that I can film good tutorials. His watch there was actually my wedding present to him. It's a citizen watch. So here's the tent in my parents' pasture um, that we had set up. It was I, We had a lot of help to help decorate it, and it turned out absolutely perfect. You can see the barn there in the background, just a small barn. Uh, this is us going into the tent, and that is the head table. I love the way everything turned out. My hair piece is actually from a local bridal shop. Um, and the food we had was chicken cordon bleu and crab stuffed flounder with green beans almondine and red skin potatoes. It was absolutely delicious, so I'm told. I barely got a couple bites, and by the time I did get to eat, because we were pulled so many different directions, I my food was cold, but everybody else said it was good. Um, this is my father and I dancing. We came up with a little choreographed routine to the song My Girl. So it was really special. People didn't expect that at all from him. He's not like the biggest dancer, but it was a lot of fun. Ryan and I, our first dance was to Lucky by Jason Mraz and Colby Kelly. I really like that song, and it's not such one of those cheesy love songs. We just went with a smaller three-tiered cake and had sheet cakes for the rest to save money. And I really love the way it turned out. I think it was beautiful, and I definitely don't think we sacrificed anything with that. Um, we did smash the cake a little bit, but we were pretty nice for the most part. So here's the bouquet toss. Best friend Hillary caught that bouquet. She was very determined, but she is actually not the next one to get married. I'm very excited to say that Rachel, the one to her left there, my other maid of honor, my other best friend, recently got engaged just a couple weeks ago so I'm so excited for her to help her plan her wedding and she's the next one to get hitched. We did, me and the bridesmaids just came up with a really simple thriller dance to go along with it. Um, it was just fun to do. Here are some of the centerpieces. I love the way they turned out. Really simple. Um, you know, you didn't need a whole lot for that tent. These were our favors. Hugs and kisses from the Mr. and Mrs. Um, just something simple. Most people don't really care about the favors anyway, so I didn't really want to put too much money into those. So that's our wedding. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, I had a great time, and if you have any other questions, just let me know, and I will talk to you all soon.